So I have never had an easy vagina. It like all started in high school. I got a yeast infection from a bathing suit. Usually get it from having like too much sex. Like what was I supposed to tell my friends? Oh yeah, last night my vagina got rammed by a one piece speedo. Then in 2002 during like the height of the pandemic, I was on the toilet and I noticed on my vagina, I had these bumps, like skin tags. They, they basically looked like the skin tags you see on your aunt's neck and think, oh, well, that's why she's still single. Went to the OBGYN, told me I had molluscum contagiosum. Doctor told me that like, I couldn't have sex for a month and I would have to put this cream on and that the cream was very strong. Here's the thing, I'm not a read the directions type of girl, okay? So when I got this cream, I just thought to myself, you know what? I know she said put like this much on, but I'm gonna put this much on about seven times a day. I didn't know that the cream was a steroid to stop precancerous moles. It was chemo in a cream, and here I was innocently spreading it on my vagina like it was the free Kiehl's lotion at Equinox. And after putting the cream on for two weeks, I looked down at my vagina and she had blown up. I was pumping my vagina with steroids and she looked like she was full on ready for like WWE pay-per-view. Like my vagina lips were so pumped with steroids, I didn't want to leave her alone in fear she like could strangle my clit. I had the vagina lips of a woman named Joanne who loved rock climbing, wore blue eyeshadow, and the sweetest thing about her was her pit bull named Diamond. Okay, but here's the thing. Besides like the extreme pain at night, I kind of liked the look. I've always felt like very insecure about how my vagina looked. And I just was like, oh, like this looks amazing. This is the look I've always wanted. Now remember, I couldn't have sex. Sad, I couldn't show it off. I felt like a pageant queen who couldn't perform.